Hello and welcome back to Yukumo Village. So this is Rakuhara and MH Geek here ready to take on the next urgent quest. But before that, as you can see, I've sort of um, given Eric a new set of equipment, the barrier of equipment for the feline companions. And he looks awfully adorable, doesn't he? <laughs> so anyways, um, this time let us do an inventory check. I've got my potions, my barrel bombs and uh, power coatings, close range coatings, sleep coatings for the barrel bombs and last but not least I remember the might seeds. So yeah, just gonna tidy it up a bit and let us go. So let's check down the Drumboros which is the urgent quest for the 5 stars on the village quests. Completing this would mean we unlock the 6 stars. And that would be amazing, we're gonna be facing against stronger monsters and uh, more interesting ones, I would say. So, oh shoot. I hate myself. So this time, I didn't remember to bring the Might Seeds. I didn't remember to bring the... As in, I didn't remember to bring the Might Seeds, yes, but... I forgot to go to the Hot Springs. Ah, This is stupid of me. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So anyways, just gonna quickly um, put on the close range coatings first. So I don't know where would that guy be, honestly, so that, oh, I believe he's going to be in area 5, maybe? And that completely sparsed out thing, though. Anyway, so let us hurry over there. I can't wait to be 6 stars. Hmm. I don't think he visits area 7. Probably... Five. Yeah, it's probably gonna be five. So, whoa, wow, wow, this is one tree that got smashed quite badly. And there, whoa, 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 whoa. So, this guy, look at his tail and his head. Oh dear, ow. Why would you just smash a tree randomly? Oh, right, to eat the wood. Yep, so obviously as you can see this guy is a herbivore, but um, I got a feeling he eats a little bit too much wood, like that is... How many trees does he have to smash to, you know, be full? So anyway, uh, he's gonna roar! What a loud deep roar. So about this guy, this guy looks like a cow in the front, and whoa, his tail is like the chin of bar that, that, that Uragan. So, it, it's kind of annoying to deal with also, and um, yeah. So one thing that you can, uh, the breakable parts on this guy, uh, basically his um, his horn and his his horns and his tail and his back and um, yeah, he he spins around like that, like like a freaking top and oh, he didn't fly, but there's he actually has the capability to fly after spinning like oh my gosh is he gonna demonstrate it now nope he's just gonna do a regular spin just gonna try and break his tail oh the end just got in the way right there not my fault you just walked into it and but nope don't hit me all right so it's much easier to deal with him uh, as a ranged compared to melee I feel because just because of look 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 at the tail man oh my gosh it's if you want to break his tail, he's probably one of the few monsters where it's easier to break um, to break his tail as a ranged character than a melee character, just because look at how much it swings about. It's just wow. It's oh my gosh that 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 horn move thing. It's a uh, it's really similar to that of a uh, the Diablos, but um okay he's gonna start spinning again. So if you do enough damage to his legs while he's spinning. He will trip and fall, but uh, right now it seems like he's, he's, he's... Whoa! Nope. That was bad. Didn't manage to avoid it. I am scrubby. I'm gonna just keep trying to um, get his tail, but it's moving so much. Fine, your head will be fine as well. Your horns, rather. Okay, oh. He's just plowing the ground. I don't know why. Nope, not your tail. Okay, that's a bit too close actually. Um, 
He's gonna spin again. Just is it a clean sweep? Yeah, it's just one sweep. I want to break all your parts. In order to break his back, though, it, uh, you would actually have to. Oh, he's, he's yeah, he's gonna do the spin again. You'd actually have to probably use arrow shower, I guess, because it's actually pretty hard to reach even with a ranged bow, as even with a ranged weapon. But whoa, look at him fly! Damn. So after he flies, you can actually um. If you're fast enough, you can actually go and take the chance to get his tail if you're melee. And oh, he's angry. Oh wow! Stop! Stop moving! Oh my gosh! He's yep. I'll wait for him to chill. Never mind. Ah, uh, I wanted to say I'll, I'll wait for him to chill before you know putting the. Oh my gosh! Re really, really, really! Stop! 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 Oh shit! That that was. That was really some kind of combo. Um, I have no idea what he's trying to hit over there, but um, okay. So, he's gonna be focusing on my cat. Or at least he's gonna be spinning around like that. Um, I'm, I'm kinda stuck here. This is, this is not good. Is he gonna fly? Seems like he's gonna fly. He's, oh no, he's not gonna fly. He's, oh, he is gonna fly. Oh my god! Wow. I'm, I'm really scared of that. That thing could probably one shot me. If you think about it, it's. I think that is his signature move, that flying one, where he just really just soars into the sky and lands on the hunter. Like, I mean, imagine that in real life, like this huge ass monster, probably weighing three tons or something like that, and just like spinning like a top and then landing right on top of you. Wow. Oh yeah. Anyway, yep. So, yeah. His tail is his tail case is now um, sort of broken, but in order to actually break it, you have to break it one more time. And notice that I use the word break and not cut. So he's actually one of the few monsters that have that um, basically their tails aren't meant to be cut, but rather they are meant to be broken. So right now I'm just going to try and uh, land all my shots wherever possible wherever I can land them confidently. I don't want to waste these uh, sleep coatings because for one, they're... If I fail to put it into sleep, then that's just a complete waste. Is he gonna fly? Yep, he's gonna fly this way! Okay, uh, that was completely redundant, but never mind. Just to be safe rather than sorry. So I'm just gonna take the chance to quickly shoot him in the horns, in the face, whatever you wanna call them. Just make sure that he gets to fall asleep soon. Oh, there we go, he's falling asleep. Haha! -ha. Alright, so the great thing about sleep is that the first hit that um, sort of wakes up this guy is going to do twice the amount of damage. So, right now, I'm just gonna shoot a bow, shoot an arrow right here, and that essentially is just. Whoa, look at that! His horns got broken straight away. Wait, is it two times or three three times? I can't remember, but basically, when you have a... Uh, the first attack that is done to the monster to wake the monster up has a huge multiplier on it. So, which is why people like to do this thing called sleep bomb runs, where they make the monster fall asleep and bomb use bombs to make him wake up. And uh, the bomb damage is, of course, amazing. As you can see, it just broke the guy's horns right there, which is so much effort saved. Oh damn, I missed, I missed that shot though. So yeah, alternatively I could have um, bombed his tail, but then again, there we go, his tail is already off. <laughs> so yep, I totally love the Barrel of the Barrel's bow because the critical, the rapid, the ice effects, and Barrel of design, yep, just just excellent. Completely up my, up my um, you know, in my book of favorites. So yeah, there he goes falling down. So this is also one of the opportunities to hit his back, which is another breakable part, and which I'll try to break definitely. Um, kind of difficult to reach when you're like hitting from the ground like this, but I will try. So he's doing some sort of a uh, weird horn shaking movement, movement there, but uh, alternatively you can use the arrow rain. So I'm just gonna try and attack using this 
Okay. This man, what, what's he up to? I, I don't know what he's up to, but he's just doing more weird stuff. I'm just gonna rain down on him because it's just generally hard to aim from that. Oh, he's angry, he's angry. So, another cool thing about this guy is that when he's angry, you can see. Whoa, my gosh, where's he landing? Whoa, right there. Alright, yes, when he does this and his tail case is broken, you can actually mine his tail. Check that out, I got a tail case. Sweet, ain't it? Oh my gosh, please, please stop, please stop. So, yeah. Oh gosh, stop. Oh, no, no, no! Wow, that, that, whoa! Oh shit, oh shit, he's gonna land on me. Oh no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, um, yeah, so as you can see, the interesting thing about this guy is that when he's angry, his back, like, basically has smoke erupting out of it. Literally like a volcano. But just, wait, did I actually break his back? I think I may have. It looks, it looks broken. Oh, okay, where's he going, where's he going? No! Nope, whoa, what happened? Did he trip or something? I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, okay. Oh, one more time? Nope, I'm just gonna get out of the way. Just gonna shoot an arrow right, a volley of arrows right into your face, and uh, I want, I really, yeah, it, it, it has to be broken. I got a feeling it's, a, it's, it's definitely broken. So I have no idea when or how did I break it, but um, it's broken, therefore it's a... Uh, yeah. And not to mention that when it's broken, it becomes... Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have done that. It becomes one of his weakest spots. So, um, he, he doesn't seem to like that. Definitely. Wow! Okay, I'm just gonna, you know, say sorry and uh, find an opportunity to heal up. Oh, I do have this pitfall trap sitting right here though. It's feeling kind of tempting. So he's, he's gonna charge at me. So, yep. So I generally, I think I've broken every single of his breakable parts. Um, just gonna try and quickly finish him off. And uh, I'm not sure if he's gonna leave the area soon. It seems like he's going to, so I don't really want to plant the trap now in case he just, you know, walks out of the map, leaving the trap right there. Which would be very annoying and uh, yeah. Happened to me like a couple of times before, especially when I was farming the other monsters to make my bows. So yeah, he is uh angry again. Whoa, no, 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 not the tail slams, please, please. Oh my gosh, that horn. Oh my gosh, that combo. Whoa, that was close. I'm out, out of the range of that. So the back is actually his weakest uh, spot when it's broken. So if I remember correctly, don't I don't exactly remember most of this, but uh, yeah. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. He's gonna do that spinning nonsense. Oh my gosh. So you can either take a risk and uh, go ahead and aim for his legs and try to trip him while he does this. Alternatively, you could be like me and be a coward and just you know run away in case you're afraid that he will squish you. I mean, I generally just prefer the player. Uh, safer way because yeah this is a single player and I don't wish to die it would be really really terrible oh he's not limping just yet but he is indeed getting away so I'll just take the time to carve his tail case I got another tail case not too bad I'm gonna take the ration um, I guess I should just potion up as well the effect of the might seat seems to still be there so um, let me just gather this stuff first before I pop another might seed. And uh, set plan. Oh, that would be nice. That's nice actually. Then both my cats are down, so that is just. Uh, okay. Felvine. What? Why? Why there's so much felvine here? Oh my gosh, I don't need felvine. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pop this might seed. Head over to the next map and uh, plant down this pitfall trap. Which would hopefully make things easier for me to deal with. Oh wow, he he didn't notice me. Oh, he did. All right, quickly plant this down. Um, okay, he's coming. He's coming. All right, so he's definitely gonna. Oh, is he gonna fall in? Yep, he's gonna fall in. And I'm just gonna do like all these free hits straight into his face slash back area. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna be able to hit his back, but um, let's aim slightly higher. And uh, continuously shoot him. One, two, let go. One, two, let go. Yep. 
and so thanks to the fast charge I can let in more volley or more uh, I can basically dish out more damage by you know having more volleys of arrows you know, smashing right into his face as compared to without fast charge whoa so he's uh gonna spin again oh my gosh where is he landing over there I don't really need to mine him I guess it could be useful but nah it's gonna rain upon his broken back oh my gosh what what, what are you doing with your tail in my face oh oh, oh. Did that poke you too hard? I'm sorry. But ow! Oh, look, look, look at that! Look at that! He's just completely taking revenge immediately. An eye for an eye. So yeah, I'm just gonna quickly pop this mega potion for um, going back to trying to kill him, which uh, he obviously is not a fan of. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna keep trying to trip him now, I guess. Although I... oh my god. Alright, alright. The, 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 the tree is in the way though, what the heck. Can't really trip him because he's a bit too far. Oh my gosh, where's he going? He's, oh, he's flying towards the cats. Okay. You know what, can I actually mine it one more time? I'm not sure. Oh, I can't. I can only mine it once maximum. Alright, that's that's cool. Wasted uh, the time that I could have used to launch a volley of arrows into you, but um, sure. It's alright, you are fatigued now, so, oh, I should have shifted that a little bit, but never mind. Just gonna keep shooting and try and target it, oh, I, I can't see your tail in my face! Holy crap, you're annoying! Oh, he's limping. So yeah, this guy, his design is kind of interesting, don't you think? Like, he has such a, such a strong, um, head and tail. Like I think that you know usually monsters would be more heavily armored one side than the other but this guy's like head and tail I've got it. Got it all man. You name it I've got it. I've got the horns, I've got the amazing tail. So yeah he's kind of cool don't you think. His set actually looks pretty damn cool as well. But um wait where, where are you going? Oh he's gonna do the tail shit again. Nope I'm out. Yeah. So yeah, um, he's gonna do some. S uh, I think he's gonna trip. Yeah, because he's fatigued, so I don't really have to worry. Yep, there we go. Just gonna quickly run up to him and shoot him as we go along. So yep, his back is definitely broken, as you can see. Those craters that look exactly like a—I mean, not exactly, but look pretty much like a volcano. And there, no roaring for you. You're going down. So, urgent quest for the 5 stars, done. Just um, move over here like, poor dude, I mean, I'm sorry but you're causing a bit too much havoc for the village, so yeah. Tailbone, alright. Moss plate. Oh, how many times can I craft this guy? Four times? Is this the fourth time? Let's check. Um, I did get it two tail cases and then the rest are basically... Two more, one, two more. Wow, I did get to carve him four times. Interesting. Okay. That's, that's new. I didn't know you can carve him four times. Usually it's three for like most most monsters. Yeah. Or maybe was this a bug? Something that's not meant to be? Whoops, I don't know. And come on. Stop giving me whetstones. I don't need whetstones. So. Yeah. There we go. Just scavenging this area if there's anything good to pick up. Never mind, quest completed. And we're done! We're now H. Uh, not HR, bleh. We have now unlocked the 6 star village quests. Uh, nope, nope. Okay, okay. So, uh, horn, yep, definitely is harm. Okay, no, I'm just gonna sell away the bone husks. Moss plate, the shell, sure. So yeah, nature's hammer indeed. His hammer is his hammer tail is pretty badass. So another thing I like about the barrier of bow is yes, the sleep coatings they are also useful. Like I just I just love sleep bombing runs. Like in Monster Hunter 4 U, I actually had um almost every sleep weapon. Like I had a sleep lance, I had a sleep um sword and shield, 
and most bows, and uh, not not most bows, but quite a number of bows can use sleep coatings as well. So, yeah, I just sleep bomb runs are just so fun. Like you just make the monster go to sleep, and then, bam, you blow off a certain part of him, and that is especially useful when you're fighting like Rajang. <laughs> oh my god, that guy just doesn't stop moving. So yeah, okay, we've returned safe and sound. Thank you for being you know concerned, and uh, take out such an enormous brute. Yes, we are term tremendous help. Offer something of better tanks, uh, new requests. Um, word of your exploits have begun to spread, and uh huh. Well, I only dare say some have proved quite challenging. Ooh, but if it's you, so I'm certain, I'm certain things will be fine, okay? Go into Hot Spring Quest. Yeah, we've already done that, so yes, you can move tickets, which can be used to craft some random stuff, I guess. I don't exactly know. So yeah. These are the new quests that we can take on. There's quite a number of duo quests, which would be quite interesting. So, the Diab Diablos is uh, one heck of a fight. Tigrex is another heck of a fight. Uh, another Drumboros, uh, duo quest, two Baryovs, oh man. Um, Tigrex and Giginox, I mean not Tigrex, Tigrex. So, Agneto, Uramgan, uh, Rathalos and Rathian. Wow, this one's um, Narga and Zinoga. This is this is gonna be tough. Um, Bar Barov and Diablos, Twin Flames. A lot of fiery nonsense here. So yep, that is a, a short preview of some of the quests that we may be doing in uh, the near future. And thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Do leave a like, a comment to tell me how I've done. And subscribe if you really want to see more of these videos coming. So this is MHG, signing out.